Hi, it's Dustin with ForcedAirFurnace.net. Uh, just uh, on a service call, wanted to show you uh, a quick and easy resolution that could save you some money. Um, this is a, a pretty common problem, especially uh, on the cold winter days when you've been running your equipment for a long time. So uh, let me let me troubleshoot this one with you real quick and show you exactly what's going on. So this furnace, what's happening is uh, they turn the thermostat up. Um, the induced draft blower motor does come on, the igniter does come on, and uh, the flame will come on for about three seconds, go out, and then the indoor blower motor just blows cold air throughout the house. So, troubleshooting, one of the first things you do is you pull your, your main compartment door and you look on the back of that door for the, your diagnostic codes. Uh, right down here you can see it gives a table with uh, colors and numbers of flashes and that corresponds to the control board inside where um, you just correspond that to your control board and that will tell you a good starting point. In this case the code corresponds to a low flame signal or flame loss. Uh, to correct that issue it's very easy. You find the flame sensor which is a single rod. You can see back there I've actually disconnected it to demonstrate what happens but uh, you, you pull that rod. It's held in place typically by one screw, which you can see right there. Remove the screw. And take a small piece of singing cloth, such as this, right here. Okay. Take just a small piece of singing cloth. Uh, you could even use a dollar bill, actually. Pull that rod out, clean it off, there will be a small layer of buildup, and uh, you put it back in place. Make sure it's centered within the, the burner. And uh, what you can see here, it's directly centered in the burner. Uh, and when the fire comes on, you want to make sure it is certainly uh, within the flame. And what happens is, is that flame gives off a small DC current that tells the control board, hey, I have flame, I'm okay to be dumping gas. Uh, it's a, it, and it's a pretty common problem, is, uh, especially if you, you witness those, those few things I'm talking about where uh, everything, such as the igniter, gas valve, induced draft blower motor, indoor blower motor, everything seems to be operating, but your flame's going on and off very quickly, just as that just did. So what I'll do is I'll reconnect the wire and We'll go back through the same sequence. Um, I'll turn the power off and then back on real quickly. Okay. And now it'll go back through that sequence and this time the flame will stay lit and you'll have heat again. Uh, another very common problem that you want to eliminate from the go is your thermostat. Sometimes they'll trick you. You'll think something's wrong with your furnace and actually your thermostat's just kind of kicking in and out. So what I'll do is uh, take a just a small piece of wire such as this and I will uh, just take the ends and take some bare so that the wire is bare and then I'll put it onto the control board right there where your thermostat wires in uh, and jumper from the R down to the W so it's a single piece of wire going from R to W and what that does is it tricks your board into thinking there's a thermostat calling for heat uh, so that way you can eliminate that switch I mean your thermostat is a switch that does malfunction so you really just want to eliminate that from the go so as you can see this thing just went through a sequence induced draft blower motor came on, which then told the igniter to come on, uh, which then told the gas valve to light, and now the burners are burning, and the flame sensor is clean and giving the board the okay to run. You can see the amber light, the solid amber light says the flame signal is good, whereas before there was not a yellow light there, so uh, that's it for this one. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks again. This is ForcedAirFurnace.net.